Hey, hey everyone, back to the Reinhardt's Rundown. Today we're looking at mechanisms and clinical effects of DIG. We'll look in coming videos at things that can cause digoxin toxicity as well. For today, let's focus on digoxin's effect in heart failure. Digoxin inhibits that sodium potassium ATPase pump, which results in what we call a positive inotropic effect. Essentially, this means that the heart contracts with more force and we have increased cardiac output. If you want a bit more intense review on how digoxin increases cardiac contractility, it's in the link in the notes below. This makes sense why digoxin is prescribed for patients with advanced heart failure, but notice there's a big star here on the screen because there's a caveat. In heart failure patients with reduced ejection fraction, or HEF-REF, digoxin can improve symptoms and exercise tolerability. There's also some evidence it can reduce hospitalizations as well. All of these factors together, and it makes sense that there's some evidence, though mixed evidence, that digoxin can actually improve quality of life. However, DIG does not improve survival in heart failure patients, and there's also some observational data that shows DIG may even increase mortality if used incorrectly or at too high of a dose. So all that being said, this is why I have that big star there, because it really should only be added to a heart failure patient's regimen if they remain symptomatic despite titrated and targeted doses of ACE inhibitors and beta blockers. And remember, if you have a patient started on digoxin for heart failure, you wanna start low at a dose of 125 or even lower than that sometime. That's the Reinhardt's Rundown. We'll see you next time.